Hi, in this video I want to talk about intermittent fasting and some of the fallacies uh, around it, some of the um, stuff you might have heard on the um, mainstream media, uh, dissing it basically and saying that it's no good for you, saying that it'll, it'll slow down your metabolism, no good for long term weight loss uh, and lots of other uh, fallacies and lies that's been put out there, basically because the uh, dieting industry is a, obviously a multi-billion pound industry uh, and it sells a lot of products, a lot of weight loss potions, a lot of protein powders, you name it. Uh, as you know, if you're trying to lose weight, you'll have seen it. You're constantly uh, bombarded with um, advertisements on Facebook, etc. to lose weight with the greatest this and greatest that. But in reality, you can do it for nothing, for free. Uh, in fact, it'll cost you less money to lose weight intermittent fasting than it will any other way apart from prolonged fasting. And obviously for, it's for the obvious reason that you're not eating as much food. <laughs> and so it's not costing you as much. You're not going out, you're not buying uh, junk food, you're not buying takeaways, uh, you're not buying sodas, beers, all that stuff. So it's actually a lot, lot cheaper to lose weight with intermittent fasting. Now, if you're not aware what intermittent fasting is, basically what it is, is a way of eating all your food, what you'd have in a normal day in a short uh, window of time. So your average diet, what you're always told to eat, three or four meals, small meals a day, uh, throughout the day, you might be having 1500 calories a day, starting at 8am, let's say 11, 2, 5pm, that sort of thing. Um, but the massive, massive detrimental fact to your body with that type of eating, it's not so much the calorie intake, you'll still lose weight doing that, but your body is constantly digesting food. Now, from an energetic point of view, uh, digestion is one of the biggest uh, tasks you can put on your body. It is the biggest task, because digesting food takes so much energy. Now, that energy, when it's being used to digest your food, is not then being used on other bodily functions, i.e. healing your cells from the daily bombardment of what we go through in everyday life, uh, all the stresses, strains, the toxins we're breathing, um, all the aches and pains we've got, all the diseases, I say dis-eases, not diseases, the difference, so it's a dis-ease from your comfort because you're doing something uh, that your body doesn't like, so it's giving you the disease as the final solution, saying, look, you're doing something wrong, you need to heal. Or when you're doing uh, your normal eating, like sort of three or four, four meals a day, or just eating like you would when you're not on a diet, you're constantly putting your body under stress. Uh, so therefore, it's not healing. And that's when uh, diseases start to build up, just for the sheer fact that, that your body is not being allowed to do what it's designed to do. Because your body cannot work against you. It is impossible for your body to work against you. It only works with you and for you. So therefore, if you get out of your body's way, i.e. stop eating all the time, your body can get on and heal uh, things that's wrong with you. Now, I'll give you an example from myself. I've been using intermittent fasting for a while now, uh, probably going on for a year, uh, mainly because, to start with, uh, it's my bad back. I pulled my back about, it's probably over a year ago now, probably about 16 months ago, something like that, uh, and it was really bad, and I could hardly walk, Anyone who's had a bad back will know exactly what I mean. You couldn't, I couldn't even walk with a cup of tea in my hand. It was so painful. Uh, and as a, quite an active guy, um, who's done a lot of weight training over the years, had very active jobs, it was a real shock to actually feel, I felt disabled. And it's the first time in my life I felt like that. Um, so I started looking into how I could heal it. You know, I went down the route of getting advice from back specialists, etc., etc. A lot of them just tell me to get more active, lose more weight, that sort of thing, which makes perfect sense. I'm not saying it doesn't, it, it does, and it does help. Um, but what I did find is when I discovered the intermittent fasting and the healing aspects of it and how it actually works physically, uh, <clears throat> that's what I did. Uh, and I can say now, I can go into my little mini gym where I've got in my garage and I can lift as much as what I ever could uh, within reason. And I don't even have a bad back at all. I don't feel it. I don't, I'm not lifting as if that, you know, oh, oops, I've, I've, I've got a bad back. I better watch myself. No, it's just totally gone. And that's just down to the healing I've had with the intermittent fasting. Uh, the other aspects of my life as well have improved. Um, my partner, 
she had a lot of problems with her digestion uh, and going getting constipated and things of that nature and allergies she used to have sneezing fits constantly we tried everything we tried all antihistamines what she's had changing the bedding more regular you name it or even tested to see if she was allergic to the dog which she wasn't thankfully um so we tried everything she started doing the intermittent fasting with me and now she doesn't have no sneezing fits at all uh, her bowels have sorted herself out she goes quite regular don't want to get into too much graphic detail for you but she's fine she don't feel bloated at all and it's all down to the healing what your body can do on its own when you don't get in its way um and obviously she made some, she did make changes to what she was eating as well she cut out the grains because that's what was a, a really big factor for her she was actually uh gluten intolerant and, and it was the grains but grains is for another another video uh, and, and the reasons why I shouldn't really have them. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit sidetracked with that. The intermittent fasting. Right, so one of the main benefits is the healing. Uh, and what you need to do when you're doing the intermittent fasting is, like I said, eat in a small window. So I personally eat in a four-hour window on a regular basis. So I get up in the morning. The best time to eat, actually, is when you wake up in a four-hour period. Me, personally, through the lifestyle I've got, I like to eat with my wife when she comes home from work. So I, I actually have an eating window between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, and that works fine for me. So what you're doing is you're having your calories, what you'd have spread out the day, but you're having it in a short period of time. This then gives you the healing. And also what you find is when you're eating in that small window of time, you don't have as many calories as what you would have done if you was going grazing through the day like you do uh, and eating four or five meals. So overall, you do lose weight as well. Uh, but like I said, one of the greatest aspects of the intermittent fasting for me is the healing aspect of it. Weight loss is a byproduct of that, which is good, obviously. I've lost quite a bit of weight actually over the year uh, doing it, and I'm still in the process of, of losing weight now. Uh, and I'm using intermittent fasting as my biggest tool. I also do uh, a couple of prolonged uh, fasts as well uh, every other week, and I'll explain that in the next video on the uh, benefits of those. Uh, so overall, I would highly recommend intermittent fasting for health benefits, for losing weight, for easiness to use. You're not constantly thinking about when you're going to have your next meal, when you're going to cook it, the inconvenience when you're working, the business. I mean, when you're at work, it's so easy to snack on junk food, get something from the canteen, get something out of the machine, from the garage, whatever. But when you know you're only eating in a four hour window, you just change your mindset and you just don't think about the food um, and if you change the type of food you're eating as well which i'll go to in another video that then does help to keep you uh, fuller longer so hope that's helped uh, and the next video is going to be about prolonged fasting so just take a look at that now thank you bye